Russia strikes Ukraine's Danube port, driving up global grain prices. Russia has attacked Ukraine's main inland port, Ismail, located across the Danube River from Romania, causing a surge in global food prices and halting Ukraine's grain exports. The drone strike destroyed buildings and disrupted shipping activities, damaging roughly 40,000 tons of grain destined for Africa, China, and Israel. This incident is part of Russia's strategy to cause a global food crisis by disrupting Ukraine's grain exports, which cannot be replaced by any other country in the near future. Russia's state media claims the targeted port and infrastructure were housing foreign mercenaries and military equipment, but no evidence was provided. The attack resulted in no reported casualties but caused significant damage to the port's infrastructure. Commercial ship tracking data showed numerous international ships stopping at the mouth of the Danube, indicating an attempt to breach Russia's blockade. The global reaction to the attack led to a nearly 5% rise in Chicago wheat prices due to supply concerns, even though they later fell due to robust Russian exports and potential reopening of the Black Sea Corridor deal. The United Nations has warned of a potential food crisis in the world's poorest countries due to Russia's decision to abandon the United Nations and Turkey broker deal. The Kremlin reiterated that it would rejoin the agreement if a parallel deal improving conditions for its own food and fertilizer exports is implemented. Moscow has justified recent attacks on Ukraine's grain infrastructure as retaliation for a Ukrainian strike on a bridge across the Kerch Strait to Crimea used to supply its troops in southern Ukraine. Ukrainian officials claim Moscow has hit 26 port facilities, five civilian vessels, and 180,000 tons of grain in nine days of strikes since quitting the grain deal. They believe the goal of the strikes is to reimpose Russia's blockade by persuading shippers and their insurance companies that Ukrainian ports are unsafe to resume exports. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Please support us by hitting the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on current affairs like the recent surge in global food prices due to the attack on Ukraine's main inland port, Ismail. Your engagement helps us bring you more in-depth news content and analysis.